Preseason begins tonight. Regular season begins five weeks from tonight when Atlanta goes to Philadelphia tonight, Chicago and Baltimore. First thing you're going to see is that there's no more run up on the kickoff. Players used to start maybe five yards behind the line, which is the 35 from where they kick off. Now they have to be between the 34 and 35. So it's pretty much a standing start. Only three guys can be back more than 15 yards. You've got Mizell back there. Taquan Mizell ready to accept the kick. And off we go in the preseason. And we begin with a touchback. And now this is a story. Corey Vedvik, who is from Norway, but played college football at Marshall, has a spectacular leg. You don't see it there, obviously. But we're going to see him all night long as the kicker and punter, Joe Flacco, salutes. And the game is tied 7-7. Can't get much better than that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this is Corey Vedvik. We mentioned grew up in Norway. Jan Stenerud is here tonight, and another Norwegian is in the Hall of Fame. And this kid has some leg, even though this one will be returned. Mizell fields it at the two-yard line. Brings it back to the 24. Can they get the pass rush? Leonard Floyd still struggling a bit with that knee. Aaron Lynch not healthy. So that is the question for the Bears. 31-yard attempt. Of course, Justin Tucker will be their kicker during the regular season. Vedvik auditioning for some other teams bangs it through 10 7 and back we go to Michelle as you were playing may notice the difference in the hairstyle yeah. so I'm just wondering you know they carved the bust when when they unveil that bust on Saturday might they add a little bit of hair the Ravens this year are going to leave some of their big guys on the field and pass rushing downs to get that exact move Ayers is back to receive Edvick's kick good hang time Field at the 17 yard line and a nice run back here is up to the 31 sets up for the following year because now it is totally dependent on how Joe Flacco plays if Joe Flacco has a good year he comes back as a quarterback if he doesn't have a good year he's probably traded the way Alex Smith was in Kansas City and then the question becomes do you want to keep RG3 around just in case that scenario happens Bedwick with a putt that is caught just in bounds at the 11 and returned to the 15. Halfway through the second quarter. It's harder than you think. But it is nice to see guys who don't give up. You know how, I mean, it, I was reading this whole huge article about him. Can you imagine how torturous it would be to be able to throw 97? And I mean, he would sail it 10 feet over the head. He would bounce it. 50 feet up there guys refused to warm up with him. I mean it was bad. The Norwegian Vedvik to punt. He's the place kicker and punter tonight. They rest Sam Cook and Justin Tucker. And the run back here by Demarcus Ayers taken to the 29 yard line. Brian. His first action of the night. He'll play the whole second half. And it was three and out for him. And now it's Vedvik, the Norwegian punter, bombing one down to the nine yard line. Demarcus Ayers looking for some room. It's around the right side and gets tackled up at the 24 yard line. Early third quarter, Tony Dungy will be joining us in a minute. Got a flag here before we go to a commercial. And a relatively penalty free game to this point. I'd have got it in this guy. Very unusual for. The first preseason game, only uh, six accepted penalties in the game. Walt During Anderson. The return, holding number 55 of the return team. 10 yard penalty, first down. In the pocket, hit that third step, get rid of the ball accurately on time. Right, we know he can run. <laughs> Let's just go watch the rest of it. Vedvik for the extra point. Six minutes into the third quarter, and then the Ravens are up by 10 in Kansas. And let's go to Michelle. Well, I'm with Jerry Kramer. You know, it has been over 49 years since you played in your last NFL game. And it's taken this. Here you are, though. You're in Canton. Did you ever give up hope that this day would come? Well, I got pretty close. You know, I don't know that I ever actually gave up on it, uh, but I was getting pretty doubtful. And I had uh, decided that I was going to be comfortable with whatever came out of the situation. If I got in, fine. If I didn't get in, fine. 
Uh, I had had a wonderful uh, experience in professional football. Make him beat you from the pocket. Yeah. Until he does that, we are continuing to do this. Vedvik. Nine drive kick, fielded at the 33-yard line. Ayers. Back to the 49-yard line with a little more than a minute to play in the third. Possibly a little above or below that, so he could quicken that up a bit. But he does have that other factor <laughs> as a quarterback yes. that may compensate. Fair catch made here by Ayers. Just think he's making a mistake that is not only going to cause him to look back on it and say, gosh, maybe I would have done it differently, but... And a lot of people are going to miss out on this weekend that it is so special for you. So fourth down right now and Bedbeck, who's done all of the place kicking and the punting tonight, sends one into the night sky that bounces around the five yard line and will be down there. Meanwhile, for all game in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And who did play by play and who did call? No, we, we did both. We, we flipped. We did four and a half innings each. And the other guy did color. I'll never forget when, when I was working with Howard Cosell, we're doing baseball, and Bob Costas came into the booth. This is in like an 83. And Bob introduced himself to Howard, and Howard says, I know who you are. You're the kid who rhapsodizes about the infield fly rule. <laughs> <laughs> 11 yard line, the punt is taken there by Demarcus Ayers. Flag is thrown. Actually, it's been for a Hall of Fame game, relatively penalty free. I mean, 11 total accepted penalties in the game. We've done a few of these where they've had about 30. During the return, illegal block in the back, number two of the return team. 10 yard penalty, first down. And once again, we are going to see the kicking game, but this time it will not be Justin Tucker. It will be Corey Vedvik. The Rams use their first timeout. And Lamar Jackson kind of shook his head after that. He made a quick read, and, and he recognized that they're going to give you that all day on third and long, and then rally up and make the play. Not that that's a bad throw. At some point, you've got to catch the ball and make a play. But I think he knew there might be a better play down the field rather than get the ball out too quickly and and let the team defensive team rally up and make the stop. Remember that split we had 50 50 that you wanted 70 30 on our lottery okay, winning. Right. I'll give you the 70 30 if you can pronounce the hometown for Corey Vedvik from Norway. Uh, you can even I, show Brian the name of the town. Go ahead. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Norway. <laughs> All right, I'm in. 50 50, it is Stavang on those lottery winnings. Stavanger. I'll take Stavanger for 500, please. From 43 yard line, the kid from Stavanger right through the middle. And I don't care what language you're speaking, that is good. Corey Vedvik drills the field goal in the shadow of Justin Tucker. Justin Tucker, all kind of happy for the rookie free agent out of Marshall. Corey Fedvik is a kid with an extremely strong leg. That is an effortless swing that punches a 43 yarder through at Justin Tucker right there, number one of the fan club. Justin Tucker, Sam Cook, Morgan Cox have all told me they think Corey Fedvik can kick in this league. And because he's both a kicker, a punter, and a kickoff specialist. That's a huge, huge combination. He's not most likely not going to stick with the Ravens for obvious reasons, but much like we saw Will Lutz try out for the Ravens a couple of summers ago, and now he is a absolute rock steady member of the New Orleans Saints. I think you'll see Corey Vedvik in the league this yeah. year. There's such a need for, for guys that have that aptitude. If he can add that dimension to it, somebody's going to pick him up. Vedvik's kicked off, fielded at the five, brought across the 15, the 20, and a big hit at the 20 yard line by Alvin Jones, one of the rookie free agents who has caught the coach's attention in this year's training camp. Throw by Lamar Jackson. Even if he'd have been able to stay up, it would have been out of bounds. But with four seconds left in the half, Corey Vedvik attempting a 53 yard field goal try from the left hash mark. Vedvik, his kick is up and it is wide to the right, no good. 
And that brings us to halftime. Coach, your thoughts on what looked like a pretty solid first half of the Ravens? Yeah, I don't know that you could have had a better first half, not only in the productivity, but the player for certainly more so than Lamar Jackson. And we talked earlier in the show, you know, about okay, Evan mentioned it. All right, where do I got to go? I got to get like this. I got to I got to beef up a little bit like with I see RG3 because even with that he got hurt. Corey Fenwick's kick is taken out across the 20 to the 23 yard line where the Rams offense will go to work. The Rams offense a non factor in the first brings on Corey Vedvik for a chance to bulk up his resume. What did you think of that throw selection. Well it, it, again just what we said it's a learning opportunity. OK I, I, I think in looking at it I don't know if that was the place to go the ball was flat. Remember the throw down in the end zone we thought the deep ball was flat. That's the toughest thing for a young quarterback to learn that that touch particularly at those second level throws and kind of falling apart here now on both sides. Let's let's back them up a little bit more. The long snapper on the play didn't snap the ball. Ball start offense number 67. Back to this is the goal. Still fourth down. Trent Sieg, a rookie free agent out of Colorado State, making a vintage rookie mistake. He moved the ball back and then didn't release it. Everybody else moved, seeing the ball move, but the punter never got the ball. These are the basics. These are the things that drive coaches nuts because they've been working on them for a couple of weeks now. Vedvik with not much room to punt. He uncorks a pretty one, though. Backs returner up to the 43 yard line of the Rams. And is flipped off his feet at the 47 yard line. A 56 yard punt. Mark Thompson on the coverage. And the kicking team will have to come on as Corey Vedvik will have a field goal try. So a drive that started with the promise for RG3 ends with a wobbly pass and incompletion. And the Ravens are going to have to see if they can't turn the turnover into a field goal. And at this point in the game with these players on the field it is all about those one on one matchups and, and you've got to have all 11 on any given play and that's hard to do with the hodgepodge of players that you have in the game. 41 yard drive for Corey Vedvik. Sam Cook with a hold. Vedvik's kick is up and it is good. And the kid from Norway delivers and extends the Ravens lead 26 nothing in front of the Rams on the Ravens game day network. Flash with the Ravens hope to see a lot of this year. Edge rush pressure from Tim Williams. Corey Vedvik will kick it off. High end over end. This one returnable. Brought out across the 15 to the 20. Jojo Natson turning the corner, but wrestled out of bounds shy of the 30 yard line. All right, so the punt team will come on. And Corey Vedvik, who is getting a lot of good looks here early in preseason, getting a chance to expand that demo reel that will be shopped around the NFL. There's no question he has the talent and and uh, this is one of those areas where you see if he has one of those reverse spin kicks that kind of dies where they drop it down he drops the nose of it. Let's see if he has that in his repertoire. Rams have had the same returner all night. Jojo Natson. And there it is the Australia style kick that Natson will settle under at the 15. A flag is down. And Natson weaves through some traffic before being taken down at the 24 yard line. 38 yard punt. Dropped it down inside the 20. Last year, Sam Cook led the NFL in punts inside the 20 and inside the 10. That's a huge weapon. In particular, when you play as good a defense as. as uh, During the return, holding. Receiving team number 38. 10 yard penalty. First down. Busy night for Bill Vinovich and his crew. One of the veteran refs in a year where we will see four rookie referees. As a head coach, how concerned are you when you have four rookie referees? Well, I'll let you know after he calls my game and how much it costs me. I mean, it's one of those things where these guys are uh, very respectful. Uh, he's got it. He's got to craft his body a little bit. He's got some work to do, but the the, the basics are there, and he knows the technique is what he's going to have to rely on. For Ravens drive stalls and Corey Vedvik has to punt it away. Jojo Natson on the return across the 30. He's got room far side midfield. Natson cuts it back and is taken down to the Ravens 
45 yard line. Rams ball when we get back to Empty Bank Stadium. And suddenly, Brashad Perriman has worked his way into the conversation at wide receiver for the Ravens. Vedvik with the extra point attempt punches that through to right. 53. I can't. Uh, so, and that, like I said, you got, it's got to have a special teams presence. Uh, and that's where Jerry Rosberg and, and obviously John Harbaugh, the final arbiter of that, knowing if, okay, because because otherwise you start chipping away at some key areas, particularly in special teams. Corey Vetvik is now kicking for Baltimore. Rookie from Marshall, who's Norwegian born. Here's Nashim Hines as Naheem Hines gets it out. Ball comes out again. And it is a turnover. Fumble recovery by Baltimore. Naheem Hines coughs it up. Remember, they got the great field position because Naheem Hines fumbled on the return. He had seven fumbles over the last two years playing at NC State. That was second most in the... You know, Joe, I thought it was interesting. He said Lamar Jackson is a playmaker, but he's not ready to play the quarterback position yet. So I think they're going to use him that way. Here's Hines, who coughed it up moments ago. And look at him get two hands around that ball. Fumbled it moments ago and had two muff punts last week against Seattle as well. A 29-yard return here. New punter is Corey Vedvik, the Norwegian-born specialist. So he goes back rotation here. And a fair catch from Hines at the 15-yard line. So we'll have a 48-yard attempt from Corey Vedvik, the rookie out of Marshall, who has a monstrous leg. I mean, he puts on shows in pregame warm-ups that'll blow you away with his leg strength and distance. This from 48. As he hits that two iron up and through. Lauded by the coaches for everything that he has put forth during this camp. They think they've got themselves a steal in the third round. That Vic will be punting from his own end zone. It's Ravens team has missed the playoffs each of the last three seasons. As Hines struggled again, but then secured it. Boy, a couple muff punts last week. Oh, he was a dynamic defensive player in the SEC. He led the team in tackles for four years. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, that is blocked and scooped the 10 that was Basham with a heck of a play right there the real Basham coming in at 6'4 266 the former Mac defensive player of the year showing up on specials he got double team you see the up back guy tries to block in there too he takes on two Talk about effort. It's not just in defense. It's contagious. That's what Chris Ballard loves his style. It's contagious throughout your entire football team. And Chris, you know, not, not only with Chris, but Frank Wright said, we want to fight and compete and we want to be tough. He doesn't care that he got double team. Well, we have a, a new kicker, rookie from Marshall, Corey Vednik, Vedvik, I should say. And he's kicking to... McTire who on the run in stride feels the ball at the five yard line and McTire leg is down penalty marker as McTire is stopped at the 30 yard line holding receiving team number 87 10 yard penalty from the end of the play first down penalties against Rashawn Scott for holding <laughs> there's a good look Matt at Burke. Matt Burke defensive coordinator Jalen Davis back deep will run it out. He was the return man against the Panthers last week and gets tripped up. He had an opening and he really could have gone, but somebody tripped him up. <laughs> his, eyes, his eyes got big as uh, <laughs> He's watermelon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Corey Vedvik will be punting from the end zone. And Drew Morgan back at the 30. Dolphins looking for good field position here. And a good kick by Vedvik. And it goes out of bounds. But there was no return, and uh, 
Vedvik did everything he could do. Well, we'll see. And Corey Vedvik, undrafted rookie from Marshall, for the extra point. The Ravens leading for the first time tonight. And Vedvik's kick is good, so it's 17 to 10. Eight plays, 62 yards. At that time, he would if the pass wasn't there. He would immediately take off. Yeah. yeah. There were no second or third options for him. Jalen Davis back deep, and Vedvik with the kickoff from the goal line. Here is Davis from Utah State. And carries it out past the 20-yard line. That's a fact of what you say. Vedvik for the extra point, and the kick is good. So. 21 unanswered points by the Ravens and less than two minutes have gone by here in this fourth quarter. Vedvik kick into the end zone, touchback, and the Dolphins will start from the 25. So now the 24-yard field goal try by Vedvik. And Vedvik's kick is good. He's looked good as a kicker tonight in the backup role. It was the start. <laughs> that the huh. defensive side as uh, Jalen Davis will run this one out. So you can think a little longer on this answer. Now you now you got to talk. Twenty one yard line. It's the Ravens and the Washington Redskins. It is not a battle of the Beltways tonight. It's a battle of numbers. After tonight, both teams have to cut down their roster from 90 to 53. Job. And they will do it on that left day. Corey Vedvik with the extra points. Corey Vedvik with the kickoff. Vedvik has been extremely impressive in preseason. And he will punch that one out of the back of the end zone. Not a guy who likely has a roster spot for the Ravens, but a guy who can kick in this league. It will be Corey Vedvik kicking the ball away. Vedvik is a guy who had to know on day one he wasn't going to make the Ravens roster because they have Sam Cook and Justin Tucker. But Vedvik, a native of Norway, has been so impressive. His two biggest fans are Cook and Tucker, saying that they, they firmly believe he can kick in this league. There's half a dozen teams in the league right now, I guarantee you. Don't have as good a punter as that. Strowman with the fair catch. Ravens defense back in the field when we get back. First quarter. Ravens up 7 0 on the Ravens game to Edward. So the learning curve continues for the Ravens rookie quarterback as Corey Vendick comes on with attempt a 35 yard field goal. Vedvik's kick right through the upright to put the Ravens back in front 10 7. With under 10 minutes of play in the half, it was the yards. Air. And they cap it with a Corey Vedvik field goal as Vedvik then punches the ball out of the back of the end zone. A crush job off the tee. The young man from Norway trying to draw as much attention as possible around the league because he has an unbelievably strong leg. You put something on Twitter earlier this week talking about Corey Vedvik. This summer, having a better summer than Sam Cook did in his Pro Bowl year in terms of his just gross punting out. Yeah, I mean, th th this guy's a great kickoff guy. He's a punter. He's a field goal kicker. And you also get the entire country of Norway pulling for your team. Yeah, you. I mean, it's the kicking team number 47. Five yard penalty will be added to the dead ball spot. First down, Washington. All hail Norway. Talk about a circuitous route to the NFL if he can make it with some team. He comes over as a exchange student. In a camp, they see him kicking. Marshall gives him a college scholarship. And the next thing you know, he's knocking on the door in the NFL. Only in America. Yeah, I, I coached college ball for 12 years and uh, never saw a recruiting area that included Norway. Maybe, maybe we should have expanded a little bit. Well, Norway or not, he's got some stars in front of him. Justin Tucker, Sam Cook, and Morgan Cox. They have those spots locked up as the specialist. Best combination in the league. But really that, that's is. a real that's a real asset. They're guys who win games from the specialist position. Which is why Corey Vedvik will not make the Ravens 53. But all three of those guys have told us he has the tools to kick in this league. So you hope he gets a shot. Chance there. If you feel like that kind of pressure, get the ball out quick. 
so it at least gives you a chance to try to a more makeable field goal. I don't think he had that kind of time. He was just in survival mode at that point. A 56 yard try for Corey Vedvik. Vedvik's kick, a line drive shot is good from 56. So Corey Vedvik continues to track the tension as he shows tremendous leg strength. And the fans who turned out here tonight, 70 Bank Stadium, are thrilled to see the field goal from the rookie free agent. Brian, the fans who came tonight used the news. You sent me one ticket. My wife is already mad at you. <laughs> well, actually, the ticket was for her. Oh, so. Okay, <laughs> now that explains everything. Well done. Look at you. I'm all over it, man. I'm doctor, Mr. Digital. The doctor of digit. Vedvik, after the 56 yard field goal, puts the ball out of the back of the end zone. Geico scoring drive, five plays, 16 yards, two minutes and three seconds. Corey Vedvik caps it with a 56 yard field goal. This season, the Baltimore Ravens and Campbell's Chunky are teaming up to fight hunger in the Baltimore area with that field goal by Corey Vedvik. Campbell's will donate another 500 cans of soup to the Maryland Food Bank. I wish I knew how to say well done in Norwegian. <laughs> well, you may, you may have to learn. Well done. Yeah, just put a V in front of anything, you're good. Out of four games in October yeah. on the road, that is a challenge. Vedvik gets it off, end over end punt. Stroman fields it with a fair catch. And October has been a challenging month for the Ravens in, in the John Harbaugh era. Winning record every month of the regular season except for October. Well, when you're three out of four on the road, that's a tough one. Into the playoffs a year ago, the heartbreaking loss by the Ravens in uh, in Baltimore against Cincinnati. That left the door open. The Bills get in the playoff, and now the storyline resumes here in Baltimore. I don't. I don't think the the Ravens are getting getting special favors from Buffalo. They're going to appreciate it, but it's okay. Well, thank you. But now we're going to try to beat you. Andy Dalton did get a huge ovation and an official welcome in Buffalo this year. The preseason as Corey Vedvik's second half kickoff sails out of the back of the end zone. When the uh, Bengals played in Buffalo this preseason, they had a special mini ceremony for Andy for reaching it out. To me. That's possession. That's a football move. So um, that one, this one obviously was clear cut. This is going to be called under any rule in terms of the incomplete pass. But uh, they do hope to have simplified it. Uh, we'll see if it indeed is that simple. After the Woodrum incompletion on third down, Corey Fedvix punts. Taken shy of the 30 yard line by Trey Quinn. And he's ushered out of bounds at the 34 and I did some homework and I found out the way you say well done in Norwegian Brad George Brad George Corey Vedvik Brad down on the Jorts. field and Evan with more on not Brad George but on <laughs> hopefully a more compelling topic <laughs> well let's stay with the catch rule earlier about this the tight end body type that you'd like to have for special teams uh, that that yeah down after the Corey Vedvik kickoff Bedford with an effortless swing puts that ball out of the back of the end zone on the hop. Let's take Let's go here. I guarantee you will have something to do with that. Touchdown stands the extra point off the upright but through it good. So a touch of luck for Corey Vedvik. Kind of cool when well, they take a look at that after the Corey Vedvik kickoff. Corey Vedvik takes the suspense out of a kickoff doesn't he? We lose tonight at Baltimore against the Redskins. Corey Fedvik. End over end punt. It'll bounce and trickle out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Redskins ball when we get back. 11 minutes, 44 seconds left in the preseason with the Ravens in front, 27 14. So Corey Fedvik will come on. My suspicion is John Harbaugh probably felt like he didn't want to make sure he didn't want the Red Sea, the Ravens looking like they were running the, the right. clock up and by taking was, time out. That's what I was uh, referring to. You, you, you want to be a good sport about this. So Ben Vick's field goal is good. Now the Ravens extend their lead 30 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, there again, that gets into the dilemma. How many can I can keep at other recept, uh, other positions? I would hate to let a crisp board go because I had to keep. A, a, a quote unquote number say at the wide receiver a six position. wide receiver yeah that we talk about I just uh, yeah you, that, that's too good a talent to let walk off the, the roster and these are the conversations that take place back at the castle after tonight's game Corey Bedvik's kick will be 
another touchback. Corey Vedvik on for one more punt try. Well, clearly this has been a good night for Vedvik. I mean, he's had plenty of tape for those, and there, there, are, there are, you know, and, and when you say these discussions start start tonight, we already talked about it. the entire league is playing tonight. The discussions, the analysis, literally starts tonight. Right. For a lot of teams that are not withstanding situation, they're traveling. It's well, okay, we'll reconvene in the morning at nine. And no, I guarantee you, the scouting staff, if they're not there already, will be heading back to the count, the castle tonight, and seeing the other games that's going on. During the kick, got hurt. Holding, return team number 48, 10-yard penalty from the end of the kick, first down. 